Ward is presented by Molson Breweries. During the course of a 30-game season, many different players will rise to the occasion and lead their team to victory. It is wise to recognize and reward this talent, not only in victory, but also in defeat. Therefore, at every NASL game, the professional soccer reporters of America select the three stars of the match. And as a result of that voting, pick the NASL Player of the Week. So talented are these athletes, so varied are their skills and their ability to control the flow of the game, that during the 1983 season, more than 90 different players received votes for first, second, or third star of the game. Only one player, Fort Lauderdale's Brian Kidd, was awarded Player of the Week twice. Just as the skills displayed in any individual match should be recognized, so must the consistency of excellence be rewarded. That reward comes now with the presentation of the PSRA Player of the Year Award presented by Molson. In third place, the ever dangerous forward from the Vancouver Whitecaps, Peter Beardsley. The 22-year-old Englishman in his third season with the Caps had seven goals and 12 assists for 26 points in 25 games and made the NASL All-Star honorable mention team. Let's watch him start the game off right for Vancouver with his hustle. Very quickly and quickly is carved out of time with Beardsley. Beardsley in blank, point blank shot at 10 seconds. A dastardly mistake by the Blizzard defenders and Carl Valentine made the pay for it, setting up Peter Beardsley. Third place in the PSRA voting Peter Beardsley. In second place, the man who could create a new position in soccer, designated free kick taker, Carl Heinz Granitza of the Chicago Sting. With passes like this to Ricardo Alonso, Granitza finds many ways to beat the opposition. This season, he had 18 assists to go with his 15 goals to finish second in the NASL scoring race with 48 points. Most of his goals came off his powerful driving left foot. Carl Heinz Granitza, second place in the PSRA voting. Finally, out of the midfield of stars that shine at the Meadowlands for the Cosmos, comes Ricky Davis. Watch this young native-born American score this goal at an almost impossible angle. Ricky made his debut with the Cosmos in 1978, won the North American Player of the Year Award in 1979, and this season his skills came together on both offense and defense to accumulate 41 and a half star of the game points and become the PSRA Player of the Year, Ricky Davis of the Cosmos. The North American Soccer League Coach of the Year Award is presented by the Metropolitan Insurance Companies. Don Popovich offensive-minded Golden Bay Earthquake certainly made his job easier, and he gives credit to his players. The reason that's we got one of the best forwards probably in the league right now, for example, Stan, uh, Terlecki, Steve Zungo, Godfrey Ingram, and Gusen. That's four guys who can score anytime. And uh, they are probably the best four forwards in the league right now. And uh, very, I'm just enjoying my season with them. Popovich also knows it's not just the players who make the team. I think all achievement what I did this year is thanks to the players, Earthquakes organization, and one of the most factors is our fans, probably the best fans in the United States. Thank you very much. And those fans also appreciate Popovich and the Quakes who gave them all the excitement they could handle while winning 17 of the 18 home games this season. Popovich blended a cast of international players into a solid unit and took it to the semifinals this season. Don Popovich of the Golden Bay Earthquakes, Coach of the Year. The North American Soccer League North American of the Year Award is presented by McDonald's of Canada. The diminutive keeper for the Whitecaps can do it anywhere. Go to the ground. 
over the top. Even in midair as he posted a 0.86 goals against average to lead the league for the second consecutive season. Add these numbers to his 11 shutouts and you know why Tino Letary of the Vancouver Whitecaps is the North American Player of the Year. The North American Soccer League Rookie of the Year Award is presented by Adidas. Greg Thompson was the number one draft choice of the Tampa Bay Rowdies out of Indiana University. And the rookie gave Tampa the NASL's first consecutive Rookie of the Year awards. If that isn't enough, the young defender's hustle and aggressiveness on the playing field also impressed his teammates as well as the fans. Thompson was voted most valuable and most popular rowdy in 1983. 23 years old, 5'9 and 170. His speed and agility enabled him to mark some of the finest scorers in the NASL. He did his job well enough that they voted him to the NASL All-Star Honorable Mention Team. Greg Thompson of the Tampa Bay Rowdies, Rookie of the Year. The North American Soccer League Forward of the Year Award is presented by American Airlines. Roberto Cabanas burst onto the scene this season, much to the dismay of the NASL keepers. But he was a joy for his fellow Cosmos, dishing off 16 assists. Roberto Cabanas of the Cosmos, top forward of the year. The North American Soccer League Midfielder of the Year Award is presented by Pepsi. Vladislav Bojikovic with one of his 29 assists this season. Bogey took a run at Alan Hinton's NASL season record of 30 assists. Iron Man Bogey played in all 30 regular season games this season for the Cosmos and created many great goals from his midfield position. Take a look at this great back heel pass. Bogey was once again selected to the first team all-star team. Although it isn't often he calls for the ball, when he gets it, he knows what to do with it. Vladislav Bojikovic of the New York Cosmos, NASL midfielder of the year. North American Soccer League Defender of the Year. One of the finest defenders of the English First Division, David Watson has brought his art to North America, much to the delight of the Vancouver fans. With Watson in the game, Whitecap opponents scored only 20 times all season. His efforts earned him a position on the NASL First Team All-Stars in his first season with the league. With only two cautions during the season, Watson's defensive skills prevented offenses from scoring without penalizing himself or his team. David Watson of the Vancouver Whitecaps, NASL Defender of the Year. The North American Soccer League Goalkeeper of the Year Award is presented by Buick. The last line of defense must be consistent. For the third consecutive year, Fort Lauderdale's Jan Van Beveren has played in every regular season game. 11,976 consecutive minutes, 184 saves, only 61 goals against, three shutouts, a 1.99 goals against average. It's no wonder the strikers and their fans are glad Van Beveren's in Fort Lauderdale. The NASL Goalkeeper of the Year, Jan Van Beveren.
The North American Soccer League Leading Scorer Award is presented by Ford. With 66 points on 25 goals and 16 assists, Roberto Cabanas outpaced the nearest challenger by 18 points. The New York forward scored in 23 of his 28 regular season appearances. And during one 14-game span, Cabanas had 15 goals and 9 assists in 13 games for 39 points. Roberto Cabanas, New York Cosmos, NASL leading scorer. The North American Soccer League Canadian Sportsman of the Year Award is presented by Petro Canada. And now the 1983 Budweiser Goal of the Year Award. The 1983 season had some games that were blowouts. And some that were close shades. There were own goals due to inexperience. And own goals by the most experienced players in the league. There were some great saves. And some keepers were helped by their friend, Mr. Post. But Tino has his own little friend. Sometimes, no matter how well the defenders or the keeper play, perseverance pays off. It was a year that saw Granitza score his 100th goal. Zanino coming, one on three. Di Bernardo quickly catches up. Now brings it to Granitza. Granitza's coming, Hall is overlapping on the near side. Granitza fires. Zungle came outdoors. What may be the great Chinaga's last NASL goal. Chicago's powerful combination of Granitza to Alonzo happened more than once. And ex-Sting Stefan Hagen exhibited power for Vancouver. Three kicks from Team America's young Dan Cantor. And Ray Odson to Bronco Segota with a diving header. Concentration and extra effort pays off. The footwork of Tampa's Manny Rojas. Another great goal, this time Pato Marhetic to Ricardo Alonso. Watch it again. Toronto's Jimmy Nickel off the free kick. The Caps' David Byrne controls. Turns and goal. The great Shinagya with a head flick. Franz Beckenbauer with his usual great effort.
Dragan Bugovic helped Montreal to the playoffs with great moves like this. Brian Quinn must have learned from Bugovic. Cabanas caught a few great moves. And Bogey still knows where the ball belongs. Kalsa got as far as it did with long range shots by Billy Kasky. And great control by Laurie Abrams. 1983 may have given us the last great goal from Chenaglia. And one of the best last second goals ever. 15 seconds left. One more chance for the sting. Alonzo against Moreland. Penalty area. Grinitza! He scores! over the back of his head. I can't believe it. Less than 10 seconds left. Can you believe the bicycle kick? Unreal. The crowd believed and celebrated. But we can watch it again. Alonzo head flick for Granitza. Now the 1983 Budweiser Goal of the Year. July 17th at the Meadowlands, Roberto Cabanas from Romero and Di Bernardo creates the Goal of the Year. Awesome. Again, Julio Cesar Romero to Angelo Di Bernardo to the acrobatic Roberto Cabanas. The 1983 Budweiser Goal of the Year. The North American Soccer League 1983 Most Valuable Player Award presented by Kodak. Who else but New York's Roberto Cabanas? His team play 16 assists with crisp, accurate passes. is scoring 25 goals leading the league in total points the forward of the year at one point Cabana scored in seven consecutive games with seven goals and five assists for 19 points Roberto Cabana's the NASL 1983 most valuable player